And we are back with another episode of Monday Night Dynamite. I am the Jamsaw, and with me, as always, is my broadcast partner, Brock Redhead. How are you doing tonight, Brock? Ah, brother, always excited. Always excited. Um, halfway through. Uh, Royal Rumble. <laughs> Royal Rumble, uh, not this Sunday, but next Sunday uh, at noon. And then at 4 p.m. is the Omni Wars. And then Monday is uh, against all odds for TNA Impact. So we're uh, indeed, indeed yeah. man. We're we're lining up for a very big weekend uh, full of shows. Looking forward to seeing as many people there as possible. So if you can check out the live stream, if you can't, well, it will be on my YouTube channel, and of course, yeah. uh, uh, Omni Wards will be on Brock's YouTube channel. You can check links in the description. As always, like, follow, subscribe, all that really cool stuff if you can and uh we hope you enjoy the show we're gonna put on for you tonight yes sir yes sir you always put on a good show every every single monday night that's why i'm the a show oh (laughs) even Santino, he knows he's like brack brack you have to stop you know you know aew is the a show I tried to sign, but they wouldn't take me. So oh, I I'm left. saving... Chris Jericho say he's saving me for Omni War. He's going to make <laughs> me big champion on your show so that I can fold and let him win his show. I hate everything. <laughs> you will call the maneuver the Jericho. <laughs> oh, God damn it. And up first tonight, we're going to have 2.0 going up against Trick Beretta and uh, Chuck Taylor, the best friends. Uh, again, just like we were talking about, because our Omni Wars are going to encompass the tag teams and the mid card champs. Yes. We yes. are uh, putting our our current title holders in weekly challenges. So this week, uh, last week, 2.0 beat Santana and Ortiz. This week, they're going to see if they have the same kind of momentum uh, going up against uh, the best friends. So here's hoping Canada Power continues to uh, drive the uh, the Great White North down their throats. Let's hope. Let's hope. And with with Darby being your mid card champion, man, it's uh, uh, I don't know. Um, Samoa Joe uh, looked good for TNA. Um, so did Orlando Jordan, man. Orlando Jordan. I mean, he isn't doing as good as uh, as uh, Samoa Joe, but um, with Orlando Jordan and. Uh, Mojo being against Darby, how how do you think the mid card uh, championship is looking for you? Well, I mean, Darby's been uh, pretty strong. It's his second time holding the title, and uh, he was actually able to defend it against Orange Cassidy last week in that tables match. And tonight, he'll be going up against uh, another. Uh, interesting superstar to say the least in Danhausen. So we'll see if uh, painted face versus painted face, who comes out on top. <laughs> you say? Oh, nice kick to the face from uh, Jeff Parker. Jeff Parker delivering that to Trent Breda, going to tag in his partner Matt Lee. Nice. Damn. Busting that gut with his knee. Tossing them around like a rag, though. Man, I'll tell you one thing, though, man. Canadian winners, they suck. The uh, My driveway the other day was all covered in ice. And uh, I had an appointment to get to, so I was running out, slipped, fell on my ass. Mm. Went to my appointment, came back, and we're like, okay, we're going to clear the snow and try to put some salt on the ice. And uh, I, went, I went to get the snowblower, and I was trying to pull it out of where it was, but it was like an ice rink right underneath it, so I slipped on my ass, drove my, my shoulder into the handle of the snowblower, and I just went, fuck this, and went inside. And my wife ended up going outside and shoveling it, and she fell on her ass like four or five times, too. Yeah, that's fucked, man. Yeah, no, screw that. I hate the winter so much. Yeah. I like I like a little snow for Christmas, and that's it. Now, you should have got a flamethrower and just said, fuck you, Ice, and just <laughs> flamethrowed your entire, your entire driveway. I considered it, but I figured, like, if I'm doing that and I slip on the ice and then it points towards the house, then I'm homeless, so... Uh, <laughs> well, you got a house in New that. York, brother. You got a house in New York. 
if it came down to it and you knocked on our door, I'm getting you a cup, cup of cup coffee, and you can explain what ha- happened, and then we'll play some PS5 together, and we'll be like, we're like 14 years old, <laughs> in a sleepover with our jam on, talk, talking about boys and whatnot, it'll be fun. Well, you and I had different sleepover uh, <laughs> experiences, I'll tell you. So you didn't wear pajamas? No, I'm mostly just joggers and t-shirts and when we smoked a lot of weed and ate pizza. There you go. Yeah, now Chuck Taylor going to tag Trent back in. Matt Lee not looking all that uh, fortunate so, in his current so situation. Because we don't know what's going on, because this is week three and not week four, we don't know what's going on uh, next with the Go Home Show. Uh, but let's assume 2.0 uh, doesn't defend it. And uh, let's say they go on to uh, the Omni Awards to be in the tag team division match. How is it looking for 2.0 against the Edge Heads from SmackDown and TNA's Beer Money? Well, I think that I think they have a, a pretty fair chance anyway because they are a very well established tag team, as you've seen here. They've been working very well. Uh, they have been able to retain their championship through two the titles. Well, I mean, they got it and then they defended the championships once already. So. I think uh, I think they have a fair chance, but I mean, if I ha- I think Beer Money probably has the most experience, so mm-hmm. I hate betting against my guys because like I would much prefer my my Canadian superstars to to win, but I do think Beer Money probably has the highest uh, possibility of success. So realistically, so right now you're two zero with all the belts. You're two zero. Realistically, with the rest of the four on the line. How many are you? How many do you think you're gonna leave with in two Sundays? I don't know, man. It's a good question. I think it's possible Darby might take the the TNT title. Okay. I think Jade could take the uh, the women's mid card, but I know okay. for sure that the. I don't want to say no for sure, but I'm relatively confident that. Rear Naked Armbar is going to retain the uh, women's tag. Okay. So that's one I know for sure you're going to... Well, for sure. I don't know what uh, what uh, Josh's team is going to bring to the table. But I still think that Ronda is strong enough that she'll find a way to make it happen. And right. uh, the regular tag team, I think that could go to TNA. Okay. Perfect. I'm going to say I'm losing the ball because... You know, that's always my luck with you. So. Did you say you're losing them all? <laughs> yeah. That's... Don't predict a win. You have to have predict a win, not a loss, when there's three teams <laughs> involved. <laughs> it's like... No, because you Jericho me every single every single time. So I'm just... How would I Jericho you if TNA I... wins? It's still going to be don't... my fault? <laughs> no, no. Even with, the, even with the odds stacked against you, you're taking them all from me. That's what... The only time I won something is when it's the Royal Rumble. It's the only time I've won something against you. Well, and the Women's Tag Team Championship. Yeah, that too, but... Still, you, 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 beat, you beat my ass four times... Four days out of the week and twice on Sunday. It's just... But keep in mind, from last year, my highest rated show was your pay-per-view, The Gold Standard. Oh, yeah, that's right. Oh, so you, you can put together, together a good show. You just need to use my superstars to do it. <laughs> ah, damn it. There it is. And Jericho me. You Jericho yourself. <laughs> Look, yeah, some really good tag team action. They keep working each other into those corners, but uh, Jeff Parker just had that scout and was able to get out of it. Yep. Chuck Taylor back in the game. Ooh, huge kick to the chest. There you go. Bam. Ooh. Three. Chuck Taylor getting it. Just because Matt Lee's partner was not available to help interfere. Ooh. So this means wow. pending next week's match, 
that best friends are the number one contenders and will face off against 2.0 uh, at the Rumble. Shit. Now, this just in as well. Next week, they will all be facing off against Jurassic Express, so Jungle Boy and, uh, and Luchasaurus. So, if 2.0 d- defends next week, then uh, it, it's going to be a one-on-one, them against uh, Chuck and, and uh, Trent. But if uh, Jurassic were to win, it'll be a triple threat for that tag team title at Royal Rumble. Ooh. I mean, I'm kind of hoping that Jurassic Express uh, wins next week just so we can see it as a triple threat because we've already seen this as a single. I think the only way to make it even more interesting is to have it be a, a triple threat. Maybe even take it up a notch and make it a triple threat ladder match. Damn. Or TLC. Yeah, let's make it a triple threat TLC match. That's Damn, we'll so... 2.0 might not be going into... The Omni Wars? Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Um, shit, that's uh. Okay, shit, what we're gonna I'm... do is uh, if it's possible, we're gonna change it up a little bit. If Jurassic Express wins, then it'll be Jurassic Express versus Best Friends for the number one contendership following the pay per view. Okay, uh, okay, okay, and uh. If not, then what we'll do is whoever was the number one contender last month who went up against 2.0, I think it was Varsity. We'll give Varsity uh, against Best Friends if Jurassic doesn't win next week. Shit. See, that's how we book here, on the fly. (laughs) On the fly. (laughs) Thank you for reminding me of that, though, because that could have been pretty awkward. (laughs) Speaking of the Omni Wars, Jay Cargill. Yep, a strong, dominant champ, man. Uh, so far, kicking ass and taking names. Ooh, drilling her right in the back. Okay, so um, I know that you heard this uh, week one of TNA, but I want to remind you. Um, we're three weeks deep. Well, soon to be three weeks deep because this is Monday and TNA is on, sad- on Saturday. Um, so with the women's mid card, what TNA is doing is we're pitting Susie, Peyton Royce, Rosemary, and Rhea Ripley uh, in, in a month-long feud. And the winner is going to go on to face uh, Jay Cargill and Nia Jax for that uh, women's mid-card Omni Wars belt to represent TNA. And if they win, then they get a world t- title shot uh that Monday at Against All Odds. So, um, I'm pitching for Peyton and Josh wants Ray Ripley. So let's just assume Peyton Royce goes on. How would Peyton fare against Nia Jax and Jake Cargill? Well, I think she would be turned to jelly between the sandwiches of, of hard meat. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Shit. I mean, don't get me wrong. I think Peyton has a fantastic talent, but when you have two powerhouse beasts like Jade and Nia, mm-hmm. forget about it. So then what if Rhea goes on? Rhea would be a fairer, fairer shot because she's a, a bit larger stature. She's a, a bit more of a powerhouse herself. Mm-hmm. I think that would... Uh, I mean, if I wasn't already if I if it wasn't already backing Jade, I would have backed uh, Rhea. Okay, okay. <laughs> Shit. I mean, she she was AEW's and WCW's most dominant women's champ. Yeah. That means nothing. It means everything, man. It's in the three books. That means nothing. You That's how I became the Asia. So <laughs> you built her up, and we made her a star. No, I built her up and used her up, and now she's been like barely used by your your, uh, your booking department. She hasn't been given the the credit she deserves. I don't think she's won too many of her matches, to be honest with you. Oh, she's so. in a muffling feud, sir. So hopefully, God damn it! Hey, look, wrestling. <laughs> 
That's it. You shouldn't bark, you shouldn't bark at a bigger dog, my friend. <laughs> God damn it. It's like uh, Tom Tom and Jerry. You are the bigger uh, bull, bulldog, and I'm just a little puppy. Oh, I'm a pit bull, buddy. I'm a pit bull, and you're a chihuahua. That's oh, damn. Funny. Or uh, what are those uh, little uh, t- terriers, the little Scottish terrier? Oh, God. <laughs> Yorkshire, that's what they call them, Yorkshire terrier. Oh, I see myself more as a Jack Russell terrier. All right, fair enough. Okay, fair enough. Wow, Bunny uh, being quite impressive. I mean, not having had the most impressive uh, start to the year, but, I mean, now that she's in this contendership uh, match, she's actually going all out. Ooh. Oh, yeah, I forgot. It's a false Count Anywhere match, too. Beautiful. Tossing her back into the ring, as you should. Ooh, taking her out. Nice. nice spine nice. bust. Beautiful. Not too many people could lift up someone Jade size. No. The question is, would Bunny be able to lift up Naya? Yeesh. No. If she could, it wouldn't be for long. No. Ooh, pick her back in. Beautiful. Get it. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Scissors. Oh, no. It's a the face. I thought it was going to be a scissors kick, but... And she gets it. Damn. Jade, shock and listen. surprise. Shock and awe. Bunny. Uh, I can't say Jade is not looking good because she done all my fucking long last uh, early this year. She she win any of her matches. That's true. And then she, and then she came on. to take it all. <laughs> yeah. So I can't I can't say shit. That's it. Jade's just conserving her strength for the big match. That's all. I mean, but they're always two out of three falls. So I don't I don't know what to expect, man. No one expects the Spanish Inquisition, man. Yeah. Well, so you gotta think this is getting under her skin, though, because the pay per view is two weekends away. Well, I mean, it depends if she's already put it in her head that this doesn't matter, because this uh. is just to allow people to qualify for that number one contendership match. And what really matters is the Omni Wars, and then post Omni Wars, whoever wins from, uh, or whoever that number one contender is at the end of uh, at the end of the pay per view. Well, then we'll have to uh, see them next month. So it's yeah, but far future enough that it's not a concern. But if it gets to a point where she doesn't care enough to where she just lets them beat her and beat her and beat her, she has a bigger match. Wait, 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 waiting for her late, late, later down the road. It's true, but I think it's all a question of conservation, right? You conserve your energy for the right moment and then strike. That's all. Ah, true, true. So up next, we have uh, the current TNT championship holder, Darby Allen, going up against uh, one of our newest acquisitions who last uh, last month or at the pay-per-view who made his debut – uh, beat Orange Cassidy, so Darby already beat Orange, so I figured why not have him beat someone else that beat Orange, and uh, brought Danhausen in to see a uh, face paint versus face paint no holds barred match. I love seeing Orange get his ass to beat. Yeah, <laughs> I know you do. You like it freshly squeezed. <laughs> ah, squeeze where he doesn't. He leaves the company forever. He squeezed like that kids in the hall character. I'm clashing your head. <laughs> Oh, uh, hey, dude, so far, your champions aren't looking good this week. Well, things uh, things happen and things change. And, uh, I mean, there's a lot of interested parties, a lot of motivated superstars that want to do everything they can to take these titles away. Right. Dan Housen coming out the gate on fire. Bam! Slamming his face right to the canvas. Nice. With the arm, there you go. Whoop! Bam! Takes him down. Oh, 
Oh, so I posted on a Facebook uh, group. I uh, they they always ask these questions. What if this never happened? What if this never happened? So I posted a question. That I want to get your opinion on. What if Cena or his OVW class never stepped up in the ruthless aggression era? Then who would have been the top five to carry the company for ten plus years? Hmm. Well, I think first, uh, I don't know, because you probably count Randy Orton as part of that, don't you? Yeah, Randy, Batista, Brock, and Cena. So, I mean, I think Randy, even without the OVA, would have been brought in due to his, like, third-generation superstar right. status. But uh, Right. <laughs> Jesus, that's a good question, because I have to really think. Well, I think The Rock, if The Rock hadn't left, he would have had to carry the company even longer. Yep. Yep. Uh, Stone Cold would have had to stick around. Even if he wasn't fully wrestling, he would have at least had to do more general manager surprise stunner shit. Um, right. I feel like Rob maybe even Shane McMahon, I think they would have had to really build him up and push him more to, to keep things going. And well, JBL like for sure, because he was already there. Uh, Rob Van Dam, I think, yep. maybe. Hardy Boys, for sure, would have been continued to be pushed to the moon. Edge, is, Edge and Christian for as long as possible as well. Damn. Maybe Umaga, if he survived longer. Yeah. It was really unfortunate. I really dug Umaga. Whoop. Ooh, nice takedown. I'm shocked you haven't said whoop. There it is. I'm still asleep, too. <laughs> <laughs> I've said it like four times. Oh, I know. I'm, my brain's all over the place right now. Oh, nice. Nice. Darby. For that cover. Two. Only a two count. Dan Housen's still able to kick out of it. Dan Housen, the nicest bit of evil you'll ever meet. Uh-oh. There it is. Drop Cough down. and drop. Oh, Bam. Man. Right on the face. Going for another cover. Only a two still. If, if a cough and drop got a two count, man, it's not looking good for him against uh, Samoa Joe and Orlando Jordan. Totally agree. Totally agree. I mean, but it's, a two, but it's a two out of three pinfalls, knockouts, and submissions. So he's just going to knock him the fuck out. It's true. That is true. Uh oh. Gotta be avoiding the missile. Boom. A missile drop kick right to the turnbuckles. Going for the cover. Two. No. Darby's still Ooh. kicking out of it, too. Whoop, there it is. Oh, there Darby. Is. No selling. Dan's going to make him pay for it, though. He does, man. Dan Housen. Tons of ring awareness in that, uh, that lad. Oh, I think we're seeing a comeback from uh, Derby. Beautiful. Nice combination going for the cover. What is it? Enough. Nope. Only a two pin. Oh, Derby! Bam! Nice, Stunner. Only a two kick. Jesus, what the wow. hell is Dan having, has him made out of? <laughs> it said Dan instead of Darby. <laughs> Some old joke you yeah. Start fighting the crowd. Boom! Kick him off those ropes. I was hoping for a springboard, but. Right. Oh, 
Oh, going for another. Oh, a body splash right on the back of Danhausen. Squashing his face into the canvas. And another one. Boom. Capitalize. What are you doing, Dirk? Make it work. Jesus. <laughs> My God. There we got, it. There you got go. hold of him. Snap mare, take him down. Now going for that coffin drop again. This is number two. Boom. Sorry, man. You gotta you gotta work that elbow, man. And three. Darby wow. able to take out Danhausen. So that's two TNT competitors that he's taken out over the past two weeks. So next week. In the, the final showdown, we'll be seeing Darby going up against Miro again. And if uh, Miro wins, he's automatically number one contender. And if Miro loses, well, we're going to see a triple threat. Number one contender's match at, uh, at Royal Rumble. Yeah, but dude, I don't know. It seems like Darby Stone's been cracking his armor. I, I don't know, man. That He's coffin a, drop on Danhausen. Uh, I don't know. That it took two coffin drops to, to get the pin. True, but I mean, keep in mind that uh, at the Omni Wars, it doesn't matter if there's if he can pin or not. It's all about the knockout, and that coffin drop yep. could have knocked him out. Yeah, yeah, that, that that is true. That is true. I mean, I I just know that. Uh. I feel like Orlando Jordan and Darby aren't going to be able to become, like, a huge threat to uh, Joe. Uh, and I feel like Joe is going to need just one cool peanut clutch on mm -hmm. Orlando Jordan and one clutch on Darby. And then there's his two out of three falls. It's possible. It's possible. But we'll we'll have to wait and see. But coming up next, we're going to see the advancement of our number one contendership tournament for the women's title. We're going to see. I don't like Shida either. Hikaru Shida, your favorite AEW women superstar. I don't like Shida either. Versus Britt like, Baker. I don't like anybody on your roster. Well, Always. that's that's not true because half of them are people that came from your show. <laughs> All of your people try to Jericho me whenever they get the chance. No, you Jericho yourself. Go Jericho off. No! Jericho. <laughs> this never would happen if you didn't pull a Gilbert. All this would not be a thing. Hey, man, like I said, you made the stipulation, so I worked within him. That's a, that's a piece of sh No! Stop. <laughs> yes, you made the stipulation, and you left an opening, and I took advantage of that. Any smart businessman would have done the same. The two years I've known you, I did not expect that. I thought you were going to be like, oh, well, let's pitch our world champion against the mid-card champion. Oh, we'll see how that goes. Hey, man, Monty Python should have taught you. No one expects the Spanish Inquisition. <laughs> yeah, wow, Britt trying to go for the cover right away. Here you go. Lift and shift. Bam! Right in the leg. Nice. Bam! Taking her down again. What's your honest thought about... Uh, what are those uh, uh, puppets you stick your hand up and you move their mouth and you talk for them? Are you talking about like a ventriloquist dummy? Yes. What is your honest opinion on those things? They're pretty creepy usually. But I mean, sometimes it's funny. I like Jeff Dunham. Yeah, yeah. He does good with it. Like, uh, what is it, Ahmed the Skeleton Terrorist or whatever? Yeah. yeah. Silence! I kill you! <laughs> oh! Just doming her one with that steel bat. 
chair. Fuck. Put her away. Yeah, Brit still has the wherewithal to, to, to fight out of it a little bit. But again, you can't count out Sheeta. Sheeta... Sheeta fuck was, you up. <laughs> I was so locked in to her losing uh, the world title. I was like, she lost all fucking months. She did not look good. Yep. If, if I was a betting man, I would have bet against her. Which, of course, I do. Every single time we do one of these matches. Indeed. But she got all two wins. Yeah, like, just a luck of the draw, man. I mean, that's the other uh, crazy unquantifier is in a triple threat match or a quadruple threat match, uh, because there are other players involved, all the stuff that your opponents are doing to each other counts towards what you need to do. Because yep. once they're worn down, one good move by you in a cover, and it's over. Yeah. Or one good move that knocks them out because they've been worn away by other people's maneuvers. It's all about timing, you know, and being prepared. Yeah. Ooh, oh, we gotta come oh. back. Boom! Nice. Bam! Nice. Take him right. Damn. Going for the cover on Sheeta. One. Two, only a two count. Only a two count. Wow. 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 <laughs> Ride her like a bull. Oh, yes, nope. sir. Going for that submission maneuver. Oh, she to fighting out of it. Nice. She'll kick the shit out of you. <laughs> oh my lord. Oh shit. Going for the avalanche suplex to the center of the ring. Oh! Whoa! Not just a regular suplex. Two, only a two oh, count. Even though she landed dude. on that bat, she got the nub of that bat right in the crack. Boom! Oh no! <laughs> We're able to fight it away. Goes for a swing, but Cheetah defends and puts her in a submission of her own. Ref trying to get a real close look at her booty. I mean, <laughs> come on now. Come on now. Come on now. Hey, it's right there. What am I supposed to do? <laughs> as long as Cole is not here tonight, that is fine. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Ooh. What Cole don't know can't hurt you. <laughs> don't cheat a Colin for a finish. Ooh. Oh. No. Bam! Shit. Going for that cover. One, two, three. And Sheeta yep. moves forward. So Sheeta will be facing off against Ruby Riot next week in that number one contendership final. Ruby Soho? Did I say Ruby Riot? Yes, yeah, sir. I'm sorry. Ruby Soho. You should be sorry. Yeah. Looks like you will be next Sunday. Well, it's like next match. It's Brian Danielson. I'm sure I'll say Daniel Bryan a couple times. Oh, yeah. That's how you were talking about uh, out, uh, Peyton Royce. Didn't, don't you mean Cassie whatever or whatever her oh, shit. TNA name is? Oh, shit. I don't even know. Josh didn't correct me, so I think it's still Peyton Royce. I don't know. He did correct me when I called uh, Walter Gunther. He's like, no, and that's he's Walter. Like, no, it's Walter. I'm like, oh, okay. My bad. I deeply apologize. I'm sorry, master. <laughs> please don't hit me again. <laughs> please, sir, I have some more power. <laughs> that's it, please, sir. Sheeta moving on like the warrior goddess she is. 
Unfortunately, she was unable to to retain her belt, but uh, still is the Omni War Women's Champ. So no matter what, she's gone down in history as the first ever women's Omni brand champion. Say what Jericho, a fucking cart. First ever, man. Right. Although you you guys went first ever women's uh, Omni War champ with the tag team. Yeah. I mean, yeah, but that wasn't like the Omni Wars, but that was well, no, but it kind of, yeah, it was cross yeah. brand. But honestly, you defended it a lot more than Chris Jericho or Sheeta have had to do. So remember last year, like every cross brand pay per view, they were defending that belt. Listen, when you're awesome, you're all, l- listen. I know you don't know what it feels like to be awesome and <laughs> to be the A show, but once you become the A show, Jabs, uh, it's. Man, I it's, wish I could take whatever medication you're on that makes you have these delusions all the time. You know, <laughs> <laughs> I wish I lived in that world. You ever seen that game? Uh, what's the We Happy Few? You take those no. pills, man, <laughs> and you just see all the clown face happy stuff. You're you really re- eating rat meat, okay? It's. <laughs> We haven't seen Paige in a little bit, though. No, we haven't. That's true. It's been a good couple of months where he hasn't really been involved in anything. Yeah. Now he's uh, in the number one contendership against Brian Danielson, although I have to think that the, the chances of Hangman are pretty low. Uh, Brian Danielson has been a, a terror, you know, like beating... Uh, there was a triple threat last month with CM Punk and someone else, and Brian won. I think it was MJF, but... I- Ooh, you know I, I checked the notes. You gotta know I checked. It's the last month you said. That's right, because you're my secretary, bitch. <laughs> True. Uh, you said a triple threat? Yeah, at the pay per view. It was oh, MJF, Punk, and Brian. At, yep. Uh, yes, MJF, Punk, and Brian match five, and Brian Danielson won. And if I'm not mistaken, he won by by defeating Punk, but I could be wrong. It could have been MJF, but yeah, yeah, one of them. Um, but again, with Omni War, with the world title, with the Omni Wars at our WrestleMania, you got to be thinking that the world division has to uh, be on its uh, be on its toes. One hundred percent, my man. And who's going to defend that title? We don't know. Scotty doesn't know. It's going to be Santino. Oh, Santino. He will get the belt and then go off at the face of the Chris Jericho. So I can lie down for him in Jericho the Brock. Can you imagine if at that go home show I go, you know what? Fuck it. Let's, <laughs> let's say, let's say, um, who's my current champ right now? Roman. Let's say, let's say, Santino some, beats Roman. I let's don't think just that's say gonna... for some reason, somehow, someone comes out, distracts Roman, and at the go home show, Santino rolls up Roman Reigns, and Santino has to go. Who is uh, Teenage World Champion right now? Uh, Kurt Angle. Let's say it's Kurt, Chris Jericho, and Santino. What are Santino's chances? I'd say probably about five percent. <laughs> you know, it would take it would take about a, a, another Milan miracle. <laughs> so, oh my! And then he wins. Shows he's the dominant world champion. Oh my god! If he won, two. man, then I would just retire. I'd be like, no. "All right, this show's over." <laughs> <laughs> like, all right, folks, this was fun, but two That's years it. gone. Now the dream. The reality of wrestling has been destroyed. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. What happened to you with Jamsa? I don't know. Put two years right into our show and then he just quit, yeah, man. All of a sudden just like exploded. It was like, nope. Dunzo. Drop the Damn. mic and leave. I can't even all drop the be- mic. My mic's attached to a stand. So. <laughs> all because of Santino. Damn. This is what I do, work. Brock. I ruin <laughs> things for everybody. I must make it work. Santino, Roman. And now I have to do that. Roman and Santino at the go home show. Or the Boom. little champion. Oh. Santino. Lift him up, putting him into that yep, submission. There we go. It's it's way over. close to the ropes. Come on, Paige. It's Come over. on, pa- And he taps. Yeah, I told you. Fucking get. Don't you dare put him in a world title match. I swear to fucking God. If Brian wins next week, then he goes up against Chris Jericho for that belt. 
Shit. So he may be the uh, like, the champion that will be going into the Army Wars representing AEW. Oh, no. Why? 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 It is what it is, my friend. Time and time again. Why you do? No. No. Why you do? Why you do? You Jericho no. me. <laughs> what are you talking? <laughs> I'm sending Santino. I'm sending Santino. You still have a hit on your head. I'm sending Santino. Yeah, we'll see. Either way, whether it's Chris Jericho or it's Daniel Bryan or Bryan Danielson, whatever. Ah. The BBD. No, Muhammad Look at that. Muhammad Lift him and up. No Muhammad 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 songs here, baby. <laughs> Only BBDDB. And going out the way it should, Daniel Bryan uh, moving on to face off against Adam Cole next week. Uh, so that is it for us. As always, I am the Gem Saw, my broadcast partner, Brock Headhead, wishing you a very good evening, and we will see you tomorrow night on SmackDown Throwback. Peace. Peace.